Good morning, everybody. Hope you're all ready for a lesson in meteorology and the weather today. But right here at home on planet Earth, there's a whole lot more that's going on that affects what our weather actually ends up being. But when they try, what happens? We get storms and we get weather. We also have a really cool science story today that I'd like to get started on because we have our usual adventures with Mike and Maxie. Why does it always have to rain on the days we've planned to go swimming, said Mike. Why don't we go see if we can find another secret room at Science Castle instead? Ten minutes later, they were ready for their next adventure. Mike and Maxie had brought a rope, a flashlight, a magnifying glass, and a brown bag lunch. What's a hypothesis? Why, it's what you think the answer to your question is, said Maxie. That means our next step is to observe and see if we can find either confirming evidence of what we think or something that makes us doubt it. Well, it looks like we found a draft, that's for sure, said Mike. But I don't see any door. When Maxie made it to the window, he could feel two drafts, one on his soft, fluffy belly and the other on his side against the stiffer hairs on his back. Gee, this castle is truly full of surprises, said Mike. It looks like when the water reaches that lever, it will tilt up and throw the switch. Welcome to our secret weather lab, said the old man. We hope you've been paying attention to your weather lessons at school, because if you're here in this secret weather lab, we haven't a moment to lose. That is, until the day Dr. D stole one of our biggest and best inventions a flying weather making machine. Once you lock the conditions in on the wheels, the computer will give you instructions on how to use three very important buttons on the control panel. It was the evil Dr. D chortling and cackling at them from the very weather machine that Maxie's great 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 grandfather was just talking about. Oh no, Dr. D has always perfect timing start, started Mike, but but what do we do? And what are we going to do? Well, that's a pretty exciting weather story, isn't it? So today we're going to answer some questions about that with some experiments like we always do. And when you signed up for your class, you should have gotten your weather kit in the mail. Here's your weather kit, what we were looking at. Ah, oh, look, there's a weather wheel, kind of like the one Mike and Maxie were talking about in their story. So let's get into the experiments today. Our first experiment is about who makes the weather. Just put a little bit of the coin underneath on one side and then carefully the same thing on the other. Well, let's do experiment number two now. Where did the water go? This one is called. And this is something that you can probably observe just about any time, anywhere. This is about evaporation. Let's move to our third experiment. This is the kind of fun one because you're going to create a little mini weather system with this one. Drop it inside. Take a plastic bag or a piece of cellophane, all right, and just put it over the top. The moisture will probably fall back down and water the plant. You see what happens at your experiment at home. That's meteorology. So let's look at some of the tools that they use and you have them in your science kit that you got. And you just put it in the hole and slide it forward. Do that on all four corners. And on this side you should be able to read on the ends of the um, arrows north, south, east and west or N, S, W and O. Just like that. That spins, that spins, and this stays in one place. Because the cup that came in this experiment also goes on your weather meter out here. And that's going to collect rain if it rains and you can measure how much rain is falling. If the weather vane goes this way, it's blowing out of the west and into the east. And we have two scales in the world that give us the numbers that we talk about. One of them is Fahrenheit and the other one is Celsius. Depends on where you live. Ah, right here. We have a very nice little rainbow here. Warm air on the outside is hitting something cold and the water changes its form. 
and you can see what direction those clouds are blowing and again that's how the weatherman records the way the wind is blowing as well here Maxie we're just going to take this straw and we're going to rub him and get it, the straw kind of nice and charged up and see what this will do you can see this is moving things around and it's sticking to the straw and we have kind of a fun little experiment here that you can sort of create thunder all your very own let's do it again if we can get it louder there you go that's pretty cool with a weather wheel that you also got in your kit this is a little game you can play unfortunately you're not going to have weather buttons at home where you can change the weather by hitting the fan or the heater or the freezer so once again if anybody has any questions Feel free to type in on the chat line at the uh, classroom online at www.sciencecastle.com. And otherwise, I think that uh, our experiments are done for today. We hope everybody's had a great time. I've had fun doing it. And we'll see you for our next class at sciencecastle.com. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.